good evening, good afternoon. Oh my god, what did that? What's that from? Up. Oh. <laughs> a little good. Good afternoon. <laughs> welcome back. Or if you are new, welcome. I don't. I'm in a bit of a weird mood. Like I'm high energy, but no energy at the same time. So we'll we'll see if we plummet at all during this. I may have to go for a nap midway. Why do I always talk with my hands? This needs to stop. If you can't tell already by the title and the thumbnail, we're gonna be doing a baddie on a budget makeup look. Amazing! Because I have noticed that my day-to-day -day routine is a bit half and half. Like I have some like high-end stuff, but then some drugstore stuff. And I wanted to see if I could create a full face, a flawless full face with just drugstore stuff. And I know it's, I know it's doable. I know it is because I used to do it all the time. So we'll see if we can make my, my face look beat, shall we? Okay, first things first. I've already prepped my base, by the way. I've already done like my moisturizer and my serum. Also, I'm chewing gum. I would spit it out, but today, for some reason, I'm feeling a bit sick. Like I feel like I'm gonna <laughs> throw up. TMI, yes, but like gum helps me not need to throw up. <laughs> Does that make sense? Anywho, we're gonna move on from the moisturizer and stuff. We're gonna prime. And this is a very, <laughs> what was that? This is a very, very, very cheap primer and it's very good for what it is. <laughs> Why am I swinging it around? Wingardium Leviosa. Anyways, this is the Primark PS Prep and Perfect Matte Mattifying Skin Primer. This, I think, was two pounds. Does it still have the price on it? It was two pounds, I think. And you get so much of it. And it comes, look how cool this packaging is. It's like a little, I feel like a, like a little scientist. I've just annoyed every scientist in history. <laughs> just putting this in our T-zone. Next, we're gonna prep the base again with another Primark item. And this is the PS Sunset Beam Coconut Primer Water. We're gonna spritz it everywhere. There is some power on this spritz though. <sighs> Sorry, that's really annoying. I hate it when other people do it. Gonna use this Lucas Papaw ointment thing. I think for two, two of these, which last me, I've had these years and it's a bit gross, but I've had these years. These ones, I bought a pack of two on Amazon nine pound and they last you years so i'm gonna say these are cheap you can't complain can you can't complain we're prepped base is still a bit damp but we're gonna continue because who's stopping us should we do some foundy i'm gonna take that out of you yes i'm gonna spit out the gum because it's annoying me now put it in the receipt put it there later for foundation every time is it does it pick up on camera because whenever i'm editing i can't see when it happens but like it must be noticeable because it goes down a whole octave i know that's choir i know it's singing i'm not dumb oh that reminds me of elf though okay we're gonna use the maybelline dream satin liquid foundation with an spf of 13 i didn't know they did that okay anyways this is in the shade 21 nude it could be i think it's a bit dark for me but we're gonna use it anyway because the coverage oh, you can't complain, can you? Yeah, see? It's a bit dark. Gonna use our sponge. Oh, it's still a bit damp, isn't it? Like it's beyond, it's beyond just a bit of a, it's beyond what it needs to be. Oh, well, we'll, we'll give it a go because there's nowhere I can squeeze it right now. Okay, we're gonna blend. Oh, it's way too dark. Okay, we'll drag it down the neck. Uh, I switched to a brush, by the way, just to make sure we're buffed. Do you know what I mean? Oh, we love a payday. We are going to do some concealer. These are quite possibly one of the best concealers there are. And they're like, I think they're six pound each. We're gonna go in with the shade Light Beige. It's the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer, by the way. We're gonna put it over our dark spots. Okay, now we're gonna go in this, with the shade Fair Warm. Gonna use this one and in the eyes. See, it's very, it's very light. I just can't get my shade spot on at all, but oh well. Gonna use this to highlight as well. Then we're gonna use our sponge to blend. Now we're gonna set the face because I don't have any cream products that are like drugstore. I don't have that many cream products in general. So we're gonna set. We're gonna use the RCMA No Color Powder. Pour some in the lid. 
some neck or all of it. Make sure there's no creasing under the eyes and over the eyes. Now take a little poofy thing and pat it under the eyes. We're also gonna use this little pad thing to press it into the T-zone. Now we're gonna switch to a floofy brush. Well, it's not really floofy, it's a bit dense, but you use that to set the out parts of the face. We are matte. We're gonna contour. Now for contour, we're blotchy. And I've powdered too. It's fine, we'll cover it with bronzer and stuff like that. Hopefully it'll pull together. For contour, I have this e.l.f. palette. It's empty. Well, I mean, there's still a little bit of something around the edges, but I mean, never mind. Instead, we're gonna go in with this. I have no idea where it's from. Face Studio? Maybelline, it's from Maybelline. It's not very pigmented, which is why I don't use it on the day-to-day. -day. Cause usually for my, do you mind? Usually for my contour, I use an eyeshadow, but that eyeshadow is from a Tarte palette. And I don't think that that would fit into this theme. We're gonna use this one on this for a second. Really load up the brush because it, it needs it. We're gonna contour the jawline. Now we're gonna take a little angled brush like this. Let's take it again. We're gonna put it on the cheekbones. This is a bit too like on the orangey side for nose contour. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try and use whatever I can from this and we'll hope for the best. I'm gonna take a brush like this first. Down the edges. I'm gonna take whatever's left on this brush and run it under the bottom lip to make a little, look a little bit more pouty. Looks a bit more plump. Now we're gonna take this brush into the same colour and I'm going to do a little line across the top like that and we're also going to use this to blend out these side lines. I've made my nose look, I always make my nose look so much bigger to begin with and I don't know why, it just happens like that. We're going to take our poofy thing into the powder and we're going to run it down the edges of the nose on top. I like to do it on the tip and through the middle too. I'm going to use it here just to lift the face a little bit. Now we're going to leave that to do its thing and we're going to bronze. Who remembers this bronzer? It's the, is it Rimmel London? Rimmel London, yeah. It's in the shade 022 Sun Bronze. It's their bronzing palette. This is old. <laughs> we're going to take a little angled brush. I don't know how this, I don't remember how this looks on the skin. So this could be scary. I'm <laughs> going to keep it back here. Hello. I really need to load up the brush a little bit more. Try it on the forehead. Pat it in. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Nice of you to join the party. Guarantee you it's like not that intense by here, but then the second I walk into like daylight, it's gonna be like, oh, making sure to get that forehead. Take whatever's left on the brush on the chin, like under the chin, a bit under the nose. We're just gonna quickly do some brow gel so we can let it dry down while we do other things before filling them in. Gonna use the Schwarzkopf Got To Be Glued for brows and edges gel. And oh, hang on. Gonna take a normal spoolie first. Take all the fluff off of it and brush them up first. Now we're gonna take this and brush the hairs into place. I'm pretty sure this is drugstore. Yeah, it must be. I wouldn't have bought it if it was expensive. <laughs> not saying like it's not a good product, but I mean, I hadn't tried it before, so I don't think I would have just bought an expensive item, not knowing how it was gonna perform, do you know what I mean? I like to make sure I really brush up my brows first, like, so they look in crazy. Leave it like that for like a few seconds and then take a spoolie and flatten down the top. That way we get all the hairs nice and lifted, but then they're still calm at the same time. So now that we're gonna let that dry down, we're gonna move on to highlight. I've got a few options for highlight. First off, we have a sleek makeup palette. It looks like this. I was obsessed with this before. I don't know why I stopped using it actually. This is the highlighting palette in Solstice but it looks like that. So that's contestant number one. Contestant number two is the Morphe palette. This is the highlighting palette in Starblazer 8Z. I think this was about 12 pounds, but you get all of those. So 12 divided by eight, one pound 50. It's one pound 50 uh, a pan. So you can't really, can't really complain. Or we have this from Primark, which was six pounds. I know that for a fact, because it's still on there. This is the Glow Up palette, and it looks like this. Don't pay attention to that color. The one thing about this palette is, obviously there's colors in here that I can't use on my cheekbones. I still use it on like my eyes and stuff when I'm doing that sort of like glowy, smoky look, but I can't use it on my, on my face. So what palette do I want to use? I'm gonna go in with this one, just because it's my OG. I'm gonna take a little floofy brush. I'm gonna go into the sort of like yellow color, a bit of the orange. We're gonna. Put it up here. I like to keep it just here. Ooh, why did I stop using this? I'm gonna use whatever's left on the brush above the brows, by the way. And on the chin. We're gonna highlight the center of the face 
once all this is taken off. But for right now, we're going to do some blush. I have a few options again for blush. We have the L'Oreal Life's a Peach blush, which I use in every single video. Oh my god. Or we have the Primark blush in the shade Desire. Or we have the e.l.f. blush palette. I always use this, so it's going to be a no from me today because let's change it up. Let's be a bit different today, Nick. I also use this a lot, so I think I might go in with this. We're going to use the colour. I'm going to go in with this one here. We're going to keep it to the back of the face. It's nice and pink. I like to take it up the sides of the face on the temples. Kind of like to just take it over the ends of the brows, just so it like all like nicely blends together. Do you know what I mean? Take some whatever's left on the brush under the nose, a little bit on the chin. Now we're gonna fill in the brows. I'm gonna use the Max Factor Brow Shaper in the shade Deep Brown. I think this is eight pounds, and it lasts a long time. Like, I bought this one, I think I bought this around my birthday, so like January, and it's still going. <laughs> I did lose the lid though, so we gotta be careful. But other than that, I like to do a line underneath the brow, all the way up, like that. And then I like to start from like halfway, and do a line on top, and fill in like a get this gap up here, because for some reason I've got a gap where there should be an arch, because I know there should be an arch, because there's an arch on this side. And I like to take the spoolie end and brush up the line so it kind of blends it out. Okay, now we're just going to dust away this bake. Okay, now we're going to go back in with the highlight. First on a little, little brush. I do a dot on the end of the nose. And then a little bit between the brows. I'm going to put a little bit on the inner corners of the eyes. Then we're going to take this brush. I'm going to go into the yellow and the orange. I put a bit on the brow bone. And then whatever's left on the brush on the cupid's bow. We are looking glowy. Now we're going to do our eyeshadow. I'm gonna use the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. This is the Ring the Alarm palette. I think it's either eight pounds or 12 pounds or 10. You know, let's meet in the middle. These are the colors. First, we're gonna take the color brush, which is this sort of like orangey brown color. And we're gonna put it above the crease. I'm gonna blend it into the front of the brows and out into the bronzer and stuff. Next, we're gonna go in with the shade Secret. I'm gonna mix it with a shade Mugshot too. I'm gonna to put this where we put the other colour, just a little bit more precise. Like we're not gonna wing it out too much, we're just gonna bring it to like here. We're also gonna blend this one up into the brow as well. Now I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and just really buff it out. Now we're gonna take a mixture between these two again, just a little bit. We're gonna run it along the lower lash line. I'm gonna take this fluffy brush again and not put anything on it, we're just gonna run it over the lid. Now we're going to do some liquid eyeliner. This is the Rimmel London Glam Eyes in the shade, I'm going to say black. Ooh, black glamour. Fancy. I'm going to do one wing and then explain what I did after I've done the wing. It's just easier like that for me anyway. Bear with me two moments. Okay, I kind of got carried away and did both eyes, forgetting that I'm filming. What I like to do is I like to wing it up, obviously, and then I like it to kind of be like a straight line. Like when I do this, I kind of like it to, even though it doesn't look like a straight line. Like it's really hard to explain eyeliner and I don't know why. <laughs> Next, we're gonna do some mascara. So first we're gonna curl our eyelashes. I think this was from Primark as well and I think it was a pound. Okay, for mascara, we're gonna use the Maybelline Sky High Lash Sensational Mascara. I think this was eight or nine pounds. So, you know, I'm not gonna worry about making my eyelashes look perfect because we're gonna put on some falsies. I'm gonna wait for those to dry before we do anything with the lashes. The lashes we're using, I keep forgetting the name. I'll leave it on the screen. Bought them on Amazon in bulk. And I think in bulk it was eight pound for like five pairs. I'm gonna stick them, they're half lashes. I'm gonna stick them on the edges. Now, the only thing here, the lash glue isn't drugstore, but I would like to point out, I would use duo glue in this situation, which is drugstore, but mine, I've had a mare with it in, in a previous video, like it's tested me. So the only lash glue I have is this one from Benefit. It's the real false lashes glue. So we're just gonna pretend like I'm not doing this. Okay, we're gonna wait for those to like dry down a little bit and go tacky. So we're gonna do lips. For our lip liner, we're gonna use the Obsession lip liner in the shade Huck Up. It's like a dark brown. It's gonna really overline the lips, by the way. I like to round out my top lip. Now I'm gonna use the Barry M lip liner in the shade Toast, just to blend the lip liner into my lip color, just on the edges. Use my finger just to blend it in a bit more. Now for actual lipstick, I have these ones from L'Oreal Paris. We have the shade Topless, and hashtag MLBB. I'm gonna go in with the shade hashtag MLBB. 
and pop it. There we are. These are a really good dupe for the Chanel Boy lipstick. You know, the one that Lily Rose Depp uses. <laughs> now, before we go on to gloss, because I am going to put some gloss on, even though this is pretty glossy as it is, but we're going to stick down the lashes. Now the lashes are on, we're going to use this, I think it's Barry M, Barry M Lip Plumper. And we're going to put on the lips. I like to use gloss when I'm really overlining my lips, because if you put it right up to where you overlined, it helps to make it look like it's your natural lip size. Now we're just going to do another spritz. <coughs> Now we're just going to do another spritz of the uh, Primark Sunset Beam Coconut Water. And yeah, this is what we're left with. This is the finished makeup look. You know, considering this is all, um, what's it called, drugstore, we can't be mad. We cannot be mad with what we've come out with. Can we look at this glow for a second? A lot of these products I forgot I had, and now they've gone straight into my everyday makeup bag. If you did enjoy, please like and subscribe. It would mean the world, obviously. I hope. I will see you in the next video. Cheerio!